I'm Nancy Rathbun. Thank you for purchasing our Be Merry Block of the Month. You're on the home stretch now, so we're going to be doing month five of our six month block of the month. Today's blocks are going to be uh, pieced blocks, and we'll start with our four patch double pinwheel. Our four patch double pinwheels are going to be um, created two blocks. So I have completed one block here. Each block is made up of two double pinwheels. Okay. So on this block, I've cut out my pieces, and then I keep a little key of all of my colors with the labels that you're given in your kit. So I'll know as I'm sewing, if I just glance over here, that this gold is the pinwheel background. And I'll do the same thing for my other pieces as well. So on the cutting instructions for these blocks, you're going to be cutting squares, and then you'll cut those squares into either halves or quarters. So if I were to cut this square into half, it would be cut from corner to corner into two half square triangles. So that makes up two half square triangles here. If I were going to cut this into quarters, I would cut it again from corner to corner, creating four quarter square triangles. So keep that in mind when you're cutting your fabrics apart that you're going to be either cutting them in halves or quarters. So here I have my block pieces already cut out for my second four patch double pinwheel. So the two pinwheels are a little bit different. These two here you can see um, this one is red with a small green pinwheel and this one's green with a small red pinwheel. And then uh, we have a background fabric piece. So in this block my background fabric piece will be the gold. And then for my two pinwheels I have a large red with a small green and then a large green with a small red. So you're going to take the background triangles and the small triangles of that same size and those are going to be sewn together. So you'll just take these right sides together and sew down this equal side here. So I'm going to sew all of these together and then we're going to sew that unit to our larger triangle. So we've sewn our two quarter square triangles to our half square triangle unit to create this block. So these four squares are going to be sewn together to create the pinwheel. So you'll position them around according to your pattern and you'll see that the little pinwheel will form with the larger pinwheel and then the smaller pinwheel, all moving in the same direction. So we're going to sew these two pairs together and then sew those pairs to create our four little pinwheel blocks. So here are our two finished double pinwheel blocks. And we've got one that's golds and greens and then creams and greens. So and we're going to have two present blocks that are sewn together. And these are pretty simple to create. Um, your first present block is going to have a small package and then a tall package that has a top on it. So it's opposite for your second block. And if you look over here, your small package has a top as well. So you want to sew these top pieces on first and then sew your small ribbon section in between. And then you're going to have some appliques that are sewn on for your ribbons. I've sewn my two present blocks together with their ribbon sections. And when you press this and sew this, you want to make sure that your stripes match up and that they're going the direction that you want them to go. Same with the tops over here on the tall package. So now I'm going to sew the background pieces on top and then I'll sew those sections together and then we'll press down our applique pieces and do our applique. Thank you for watching the demonstration on our Be Merry Block of the Month Month 5 block construction. Please watch again when we demonstrate our last blocks in Month 6.